What's going on guys, it's Shane, I'm back here going another video. Today we're going to be checking out something brand new on the channel. This is a game called Southern Ontario. It is a game based out of Ontario and Toronto, Canada. Uh, it says here this is not a one-to-one -one scale of Toronto or Ontario. It includes key areas and roads, but has been shrinked to be a smaller size since a full-size game of Toronto would be incredibly laggy. Um, a subscriber recommended me this game. You know who you are. It was only like one person, so shout out to you. Um, and we're going to be checking it out. Uh, I wasn't here uh, before making the video just to see what I was getting myself into. And uh, I kind of bought a few vehicles for certain jobs because it took me a while to figure it out. But uh, I'll let you guys know how to do it. So um, here's the UI. Uh, right here you've got vehicles, help, maintenance, products, settings, and jobs. Um, if you press vehicles, it'll have your cars and everything right here. Uh, and to basically buy a vehicle, you go in here and you press um, open you can go category and um, you got all your vehicles here now I will say if you want to be a truck driver you will have you will have to come in here and buy this it's zero zero dollars they let you have it for free uh, that goes with the uh, bus too and the uh, garbage truck as well so there's that um, just know uh, if you want to do those jobs, you will have to buy those first. Uh, and it's a good thing they're free. So, um, then you've got jobs. So you've got Ontario Provincial. I don't know if I said that right. Police. Um, I probably didn't say it right. But uh, you got paramedic service. You got fire department. Uh, you've got uh, restaurant employee. You've got Toronto PD. You've got Waypoint School Transportation. It says a, become a bus driver, stop at stations, and bring people to their destinations. I think that's the same thing as transit service. I'm not too sure, but um, like I said, you got transit service, you got garbage service, and then Toronto trucking. Uh, today we're going to be checking out a few different things. Um, so we're going to check out the this first, the burger place. Uh, basically, uh, all you do is um, you come in here. Oops in here and then you basically just like work behind the thing and it's kind of cool because you can actually like hand these out which is really cool that okay this rain is gonna kill me okay uh, hopefully you guys can still hear my voice i turned the volume down pretty low so and then a cola okay cool all right and then you know you got stuff in the back here you can hand out as well uh, and then you have an ID, which is really cool because it actually shows the date you joined uh, Roblox, which is really cool. I joined in 2015, um, and this is pretty cool. Uh, it's like a driver's license. Um, so yeah, that's basically the uh, you know the restaurant workplace. Uh, and then you also have like the fire department. Uh, I'm not gonna check that out today because it's probably pretty big. Same with the paramedic service. Um, and then for I guess garbage service we can do. I actually, I actually haven't done this one yet, so um, I guess you would just spawn this in right here and then hop in it and I'm not sure if you can actually pick up garbage or not. Let's see. Um, I have no idea. Uh, but to start a vehicle, you press this and press start. But uh, I don't actually know. Let's see. Settings. Toggle arms. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually pick things up or not. Um, I would try to find a garbage thing, but I don't know where one would be. So, um, yeah, so there's that. Let me go ahead and despawn this vehicle. Uh, we will switch to the trucking. Now, I haven't actually figured out trucking just yet. I didn't switch to paramedic. What? Oh, locker room. Oh, I don't know why there's paramedic things in here. Oh, I guess this must be like the same thing. So, basically you can get your trailer here. Uh, spawn that. And then it says, I don't know if you can actually request it here or not. It says, we will load it for you. Wait, what? What did that say? Your lack of truck is suspicious, however. Okay, I think they loaded it. I'm not too sure, but... um. You would go ahead and spawn in the vehicle. Like I said, you will have to buy it at the dealership. It is free, so it's good. 
So, like I said, I don't know if they filled it up or not, but uh, what's cool is that if you press this eye icon, you've got, like, first-person mode, and it's really cool. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Your trailer's loaded. Is that what that said? Man, this rain absolutely sucks. I really didn't want to have to record in this, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. So what you do is you put it in park, and you come back here to hitch it, which is really cool. There we go. Now, I don't know if the truck is loaded, but um, if you click on this destination, you put it on the there and it pops up. It's light blue. I guess that's where you drive to, I think. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Um, this game has a lot of cool features that other roleplay games don't actually. Um, I and I, I like I said, I've noticed that, um, and you'll you'll see here in a little bit uh, what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know how far I have to deliver this. Hopefully, it's not very far. Hopefully. Um, Let's see here. What if I press settings? We got anything? Toggle ceiling light. Toggle wipers. Yeah, here we go. So you can actually be in first person, which is real. And you can look out the side of the windows if you, like, look at them. And if you look up, you can look in the back, which is really, really cool. I've never seen a roleplay game do that on Roblox before. Um, so that's really cool. Now, I wish there was a... Oh, there's a fellow truck right there. This looks to be like a Volvo. I'm pretty sure it is. I wish I knew exactly where to go. I don't know if you can go right on red, but I'm going to. Okay. Is there... Okay, there's... Okay. But, um... Yeah, I think the map looks great, obviously. You got, like, your city area. Uh, where did it go? It's over here, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So, it's like... I've never been to Canada, so I don't know what these cities are like. So, you guys have to let me know if you've ever been there. You gotta let me know if it's... If you recognize anything. So, there's Toronto Fire right up here. Oh, I gotta slow down. Yeah, here's the city area, that's right. Right up oh god. You kinda you're kinda forced to put the parking brake on because there's no neutral. At least I don't think. Okay. Let's see if we can make it through all these lights here. You got like your city hall over there, which is really cool. Ooh. Okay, there's a Toronto fire. I think we're going to the, the port over there. I think that's where we're de delivering this, if I had to guess. Man, I don't know how long it's supposed to rain. That's a pretty long cycle, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, is that what that... I think I recognize that building. This is probably a recognizable place. I'm, I, if I had to guess, a lot of train tracks. Okay, we're gonna make a left here, or no, sorry. We're gonna go straight and then make a left. Wow, this is pretty cool. I like that, uh, kind of like that highway right there, or whatever that is. Can't really tell by just looking at it. Oh, are these tram tracks? Yo, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a yield. I think these are tram tracks, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they have us driving on this side now. Yeah, this is definitely tram tracks, okay. Or trolley, I guess you could call it. I'm not too sure, actually. Crap name, probably tram, I guess. 
I think I recognize that building right there. Oh, look at the waterfront. Yo, that's cool. How that building's just on the water right there. Yo, and these skies are ridiculous. Oh my god. Does it always rain in Canada like this? Got some more first person action. Really, really cool. Now, my graphics are at max, so. Oh, does the road end here? Oh, this is awkward. This is very awkward. Okay. Well, I wish I would have known. So, there, you know, there are a few things, I guess, wrong with it. Oh, what is it? Okay. So, so, okay. Okay, yeah, I've been on a road like this before. They had these in, like, Cincinnati. Actually, it was more of a bridge, though. I think it was in Cincinnati. I'm not too sure. Okay. Go ahead and switch lanes here. Oh, we're turning right here. Is that a plane? Bro, what is that noise? Dude, that legit sounds like a plane. Oh my god. Whatever it is, it's loud. Okay. So this is where we drop off. But uh, after this, I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, ooh. Loading bays. Wait, am I loading? I swear to god, I better be dropping off. I don't wanna have to load here. Fluids. Didn't we just pick up fluids or something like that? I have no idea. Oh, load fluids here. What? We do not load your request. Wait, how do I drop off the... Do I have to go like right under the thing? Oh, finally it cleared up. Okay. Can I drop off here or what? I guess not. Whatever. Alright. So you guys had a little taste of the trucking in this game, which is really cool. Um, like I said, I couldn't really figure out where exactly to go or where to pick up or drop off. But uh, I'll leave that to you guys. Uh, but my favorite is the transit service, uh, which is really, really cool. So all you do is you uh, take your vehicle here, your bus. Like I said, you got to buy it at the dealership. Oops. And then all you do here, if you want to go in first person, you can. Board it like this. Look at that. Awesome. And then you've got like the routes right here. You can press start and then close that. And then what you can do here is if you press this little setting icon, obviously you got the ceiling light. Well, I don't know how to turn it on. Oh, there we go. And then you've got toggle front doors and toggle. Well, why is it not work? Oh, because it's not on. I'm an idiot. Toggle front and back doors. Which is really, really cool. So, we're going to go ahead and head to the first stop. Which is... Oh, I still have that thing on my screen. Uh, just ignore that little blue dot. But uh, you can actually see where it says the stop is at. How many studs away they are. Which is really cool. Now, I personally like being in first person with this. Look at that. Man, this is cool. Ooh, I'm all over the road. Okay. Oh. Now, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, the bus stops on the other side of the road when we make the ride up here. Because, uh, I, like I said, I did test this out before I uh, recorded the video, so. But, uh, yeah, this game is pretty, pretty cool. Like I said, it's got things that other roleplay games don't have, such as things like this, where the doors open and everything. Where you can actually drive a transit bus. It's so cool. Okay, yeah, so I don't, I have no clue if you can make a ride on red, but uh, I do it anyway. Now, let's see, the bus stop's on the other side, so what I just had to do was, like, um, I had to turn into here, and then, like, kind of, like, back out. 
kind of like this. Speaking of transit buses, I'm going to do a video on Bus Simulator 21. I still haven't done a video on it, but I'm going to. Probably, maybe even a live stream, I don't know. But uh, what you do is you uh, park and brake settings, toggle the front and rear doors. Look at that. Awesome. And then it says boarding, please wait. And then all you have to do is close them again. Just like that. Boarded, please. Okay, okay. And then there you go. Awesome. Let me see if I can get a thumbnail here real quick. Just a small thumbnail. All right. So cool. All right. My shift lock is still on. Here we go. We gotta make a left up here. So cool. But uh, yeah, um, wow, this is like a building right in the middle of the grass out there. Unless there's a road out there I can't see. Got our next stop right here. Now I don't know how long this actually takes or how long these stops are. But uh, yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Then all you have to do is when it says boarded, there we go. Toggle the doors. Just like that. Keep straight. But this this is really really cool. I I can't think of the last roleplay game that had stuff like this to be honest with you. But I mean the only problems I have with this game are noises like that. You know what I think that was? I think it was because we were under like a a bridge. It was like making the noise of the bus a lot louder, which would be very realistic. Uh, but uh, like I got, like I said, the only problems I have with this game is. Um, I don't know, the UI is a bit much, um, like, hold on, I'm about to tell you guys in a second, but, um, like, all of this, I wish you could get, like, rid of it, kind of, um, I'm not too sure what this stuff is, I guess it's, like, your health and your hunger, I'm not too sure, but, uh, you've also got a phone here I meant to let you guys know about, um, you got your services, and then you've got, like, um, the weather, you can also control your car and your home from your phone, which is really cool. And then you got like exotic cars or imports or whatever it is. Okay, let me get this off the screen. Uh, home. Click that. Okay, and then uh, settings. So as you can see, we've been gaining money. Um, we are up to 5,000 now. There we go. I can't see. Oh, there we go. But this is really, really cool. I don't know how many times I've said that already, but it is. But yeah, like I said, if they would just clean up the UI, because they can do a lot better than this. You see how the things are way too big, and it's kind of all on the top right of the screen? You know, if they would just fix that, dude, this game would be perfect. I was turning right right here. This game got everything you need, to be honest with you. The building is good. And like I said, I'm not from Canada, so I have no idea if how accurate this map is, so. Alright, we got a bus stop right here. This is really cool. I love the bus stop. Like, I love this job. It's so cool. If you guys don't know, I do like transit buses a lot. That's kind of what got me into school buses, I'm not going to lie. Also, I wish there was a way to turn off these, um, I don't know if there is, but I wish there was a way to turn off, like, the, um, 
what do you call it? The uh, like the UIs for all the jobs and stuff, the locations. I don't know if you actually can. Let's see. Uh, settings, Rob, probably right. Place markers. Is that what it is? That's what it was. I'm sorry. Okay. There is a way to turn it off. You press place markers. That's really cool. That probably would have helped me for my thumbnail. Oh gosh. Maybe I'll get another one up here. Well, this is so cool. You know how many times I've said cool already? I need I need like a cool uh uh counter <laughs> at the top left of the screen. That'd be kind of cool. I I said cool again. <laughs> I literally said that would be kind of cool. Oh my god. I barely noticed that too. Okay, see, there's problems like this. Look at this. It says to turn left, but there's no road here. There's like it divided by grass. So there's obviously some things they need to fix. Obviously. And it was like that at the other place too, where I had to cut the grass to get to the road. So, you know, if any developers of this game are watching, you know, and you got some stuff to fix. Mainly roads. Okay. I wish this pole wasn't in the way. Okay. Okay, let's see. Can I get a thumbnail here? Let's see. Let me try to get one real quick. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Alright. One sec, there we go. Okay, now let me close the doors. There we go. Like I said, I don't know how long this uh, route is. Turn right. If it, I don't, I don't know. We're probably going to do one more stop. If, if it's not done after that, then we'll just wrap up the video because... I basically showed everything I needed to in this video. But it's a huge shout out to the person that um, I requested this. I'll leave their uh, n uh, name in the um, description down below for sure. I'm going to turn red on red. I don't, like I said, I have no idea if you can or not. Keep straight. Alright, oh, what was that? Keep okay, now where do I go? Keep straight again? Yeah. Straight. But now, do I keep going straight, or what? Oh, bust. Okay, so yeah, that's... Oh, it was under the road, I think. That's why I couldn't see it. So that's a problem. Yeah, it was under the road. But this is cool though. I I said it again. Um, but uh, I like how it takes you through the city and everything. I like that. All right. Yeah, we're gonna. Um, if it tells me to do a bus stop again, we're just gonna um, leave it there. I was just kind of curious where it ends, but this is probably a long video, 24 minutes, not too bad. Turn left up here. Oh, that bridge is slowing me down like crazy. Okay. Great. Yeah, we we've been gaining quite a bit of money.
Ooh. Turn left. Wow, we got a lot of turns here. For a lot of directions. Okay, yeah, so this is like the last bus stop we're going to do. Actually, we're not even going to do it. We're going to go ahead and hop out of the bus. Move the vehicle. Okay, so let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, everything else you guys can probably check out for yourselves, such as like the PD and the fire department. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered most of everything in this video. Uh, if you ever need help, there's a help section here. It pretty much gives you everything kind of you want to know, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, um, with that being said, if you guys do wish to play this game yourselves, um, it will be linked in the description down below. By far one of my, one of the, one of the best, um, roleplay games I've ever reviewed, to be honest with you. It's got many, many, many features. Uh, you know, the building is great too. It's not like, it's not like ERLC, you know what I mean? The building there is kind of like, you know, basic, but, uh. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, game link in the description down below. Uh, if you guys do like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other requests, let me know down below. That being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys next time.